Time to play with some play. I'd really appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Uh, subscribe to my videos and you'll get updates uh, occasionally or whenever I do them. <laughs> and uh, share it if you think it's worth sharing with friends, especially sh friends that you know that may be interested in sculpting. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Crazy Horse was shot in the face by an irate husband of a woman. He, uh, there's reports that he was shot under the chin and it came out the cheek. There's other reports that it did, you know, just grazed his cheek. I'm going to go with the grazed his cheek. I'm going to make it kind of an ugly scar. Because if it was a black powder pistol, which it more than likely was, that lead ball would have tore the hell out of his cheek. I just got to figure out how to make it look like it was torn. I decided to come down tonight because there's nothing on TV Monday night. And I got my DVDs ready to go out tomorrow, the ones that I got orders for. And uh, so I found myself getting ready to play a game on my PlayStation 4 but I really didn't want to do that either and I knew I had to do this eventually so I figured why not do it tonight now I don't want to make it ridiculously bad but Definitely scarred him. I'm basically starting the, this arm the same way as I started the other arm with the ulna and the radius. And that just establishes the musculature in the arm. Since this one is going to be behind the shield, I'm not going to do the hand out of wax. I just want to establish the muscles in the arm before I put the shield on.
I just want to see how much of his arm I'm going to actually have showing. Most of this under here is going to be filled. Well, this is crazy horse at this moment. Both arms are relatively done. I still got work to do on that arm. And on his back, of course. It's going to all depend on how far down I want that hair to go. Um, I heard that he had it all the way down to his waist, but I don't know. I just basically roughed in the hair. Uh, you know, and I just trying to get some feel for it. Thinking about having the wind blowing from this direction. I'm thinking about putting a uh, bow and quiver on his back. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet, though. So, I'll do the loincloth next time. And then I'll start the uh, leggings before I put the loincloth on, actually. Um, but I'm happy with it uh, at this moment. It's just, it's got some filling in to do behind there. And I want to try to at least get the the fingers on the uh, fist that's holding the uh, shield but I am filling in behind the shield I have to it's gonna be a hard thing to cast I think I hope not maybe it would be better just to take the shield off and cast that separate and put it on I don't know that always leads to problems not being exact with everyone. I'm trying to figure out how to uh, do the spots on his uh, chest and back because that's uh, what he, one of the symbols he had uh, was war paint with uh, white spots all over him uh, representing, I don't know, the stars. Uh, I, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I know he had a red uh, lightning bolt down the side of his face. Well, that's it for today. I've spent a long day. It's, uh, oh, it's 11.36 in the evening. I just wanted to get going on it. I just uh, didn't want to stop. All right, everybody. Well, it, that's because it's exciting right now. It's, it's turning out really good. All right, everybody, I'll say good night and see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.